Hi guys, this is Saili and in today's session we will see the phase wise operation of waterfall model. As in previous video we saw how the waterfall model works. So now we are going to see its diagrammatical representation and each phase in details. So let's begin. Okay, so in which the first one is waterfall model is step by step implementation of SDLC model. It is a step by step implementation of SDLC model. Means which follows the SDLC. Who follows SDLC? Waterfall model. Then waterfall model we also called it as a linear sequential model. Okay. The another name of waterfall model is linear sequential model. Now, why we called it as a linear sequential model? So, the answer is the development process, the development process is usually unidirectional. And flows steadily, flows steadily downwards through the different phases of software development. Right? That's why we called it as a waterfall model or linear sequential model. Now, this downward flowing concept, this downward flowing concept, we called it as a waterfall model. Okay, means waterfall model is totally working on downward flowing concept. Okay, this waterfall model is used when requirements are stable and not changes frequently right means whenever the requirements are stable and not changes frequently then and then only we are using the waterfall model okay then without completion of Without completion of first stage, we can't move towards the next stage. Means we have to first finish this stage which is going on and then we have to move towards the next phase. Okay. Once we complete this stage, suppose we are completing stage, then we can't revert back, can't revert back to previous stage. Means, if we are completing with the phases, we can't revert back to the previous one. This waterfall model is used in product based organization right means this is generally used in product based organization and the duration of this waterfall model is of 3 months okay now for clearing your concept we will take an example okay so in example suppose we have to create a car so for creating car first of all we have to create concept of car design right we have to create concept of car design then we have to design the car after that build the car and then test it so this is nothing but the flow as waterfall model. Again we will take another example for to create a house. 
again we have to collect the requirements from the customer then make a blueprint of design right then build and then so on so in the same way waterfall model states that it is nothing but the downward flowing concept which is done in unidirectional and flows steadily downwards okay now we are going to see the key uses of waterfall model in which the first one is sdlc waterfall model is used when requirements are stable and not change frequently when an application size is small then waterfall model is used there is no requirement which is not understood or not very clear waterfall model required environment stable the tool and technologies which is used is stable in waterfall model which is not dynamic in any conditions resources are well trained and are available at a time generally waterfall model is used in a small scale company and in a product based companies advantages of the waterfall model is simple and easy to understand and use for smaller project waterfall model works well and yield the appropriate results since the phases are rigid and precise one phase is done at a time it is easy to maintain the entry and exit criteria are well defined so it is easy and systematic to proceed with the quality results are well documented the disadvantages of waterfall model are it cannot adopt the changes in requirements it become very difficult to move back to the previous phase delivery of the final product is late as there is no prototype which is demonstrated immediately for bigger and complex project this model is not good as a risk factor is higher not suitable for the projects where requirements are changes frequently does not work for a long and on going projects we'll see the impact of waterfall model has on testing firstly we know that testing starts late in the stlc now this is in contrast with one of the testing principles we have to discuss it on later in the fundamental section in our coming videos which stated that we should always try to start testing early if you start testing late the defect get detected late and fixing them becomes more time consuming and costly so that it is a huge disadvantages of waterfall model for testing activities also waterfall model requires that every phase is done only once so testing phase is done only once and all defects are expected to be caught here itself this is a good in some cases but bad in most of the cases good because small projects with a clear requirements can be tested easily but big projects with a unclear requirements might allow some defects to be undetected so single testing phase cause a big impact on testing activities so we stop here i hope you understand today's topic well and hope you guys enjoyed it a lot don't forget to like share and subscribe for this video keep watching my videos i hope it help you to bring your knowledge high about this topic so we'll meet again soon in our next one thank you